News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. News 46 is also brought to you by Humana, serving the community. Please stop in at 1397 South Loop Road on the corner of Loop and Highway 160. Tonight on News 46, NHP is investigating a hit and run accident and a man posing as a bounty hunter is arrested for kidnapping. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. A local business's truck is involved in a crash. It's Friday, March 23rd. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. The owners of Mom's Diner say they don't know who took their truck today and caused an accident. One person was transported to Desert View Hospital this afternoon as a result of a two-vehicle accident that occurred on Highway 160 and Winery Road. According to witnesses, the yellow truck owned by Mom's Diner jumped the median in the intersection and struck the black SUV. The person inside the SUV claimed injury at the time of the accident. The individual driving the yellow pickup truck fled the scene and jumped into another vehicle. Highway Patrol is investigating this accident. Nye County Sheriff's Office auxiliary units arrived on scene to assist, as well as Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue. Mom's Diner representatives arrived on scene and told News 46 that they don't know who was driving the truck, that all of their employees were working at the time of this accident. One other witness told News 46 that they saw the yellow pickup truck driving back and forth along Highway 160 several times before the accident occurred and described a male with short hair in the driver's seat. Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating the cause of this accident and if in fact this pickup truck was stolen from Mom's Diner. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. And three people were injured last night in a rollover crash in the town of Johnny. Last evening, we were dispatched for a report of a one-vehicle rollover on Highway 160, mile marker 219, which is in the Johnny area. Our crews responded with our heavy rescue, our closest medic unit, and myself. The uh, crews arrived on location to find a one-vehicle rollover with extensive damage done to the vehicle. It was resting upright on its wheels. The three occupants had self-extricated. All were injured. They were transported to the local hospital. All three? All three were transported. There was no other vehicles involved in this wreck? It is unknown. There was no reports of other vehicles or animals, such as burrows or anything like that, that were involved in the impact. Nevada Highway Patrol is investigating? They are. And a man has been arrested after allegedly posing as a bounty hunter and taking the victim by force in public. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is conducting an investigation into a kidnapping and false imprisonment. They were dispatched to Kearney Street in reference to a male that had been kidnapped from the Prump Nugget Hotel by an individual by the name of Nathan Myers. The individual told police that Myers had come into the Prump Nugget, grabbed her son by the throat, and then told security guards that he was a bounty hunter who was taking him to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. They also said that Myers had handcuffed the individual. The reporting party also played a recording to the Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies of an individual who said that he was going to hunt the victim down and that he needed to bring back everything that he had stole and stop blaming him for crimes that he did not commit. The victim had left a voicemail saying that he was in Las Vegas at a bus stop and that Mr. Myers had bought him a ticket to St. George, Utah. Detectives spoke to the security officers at the Prump Nugget who said that Myers had come in claiming to be a bounty hunter and arrested the victim. Security officials from the Prep Nugget also said that Myers had came into the casino on a previous occasion saying that he was with Albertson Security and he was looking for an individual that was stealing from the store. Deputies viewed the footage in which they saw the male was handcuffed and that Myers was leading him out of the casino into a green van. They said that the victim was resisting and yelling. 
Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department officials made contact with the victim, who said that he was beaten with the rubber mallet and forced to confess to theft and other crimes. He also told police that Myers had dropped him off at the bus station. He was told to get out of town and never come back or he was going to die. He told police that he was kidnapped multiple times. Police spoke with Nathan Myers, who admitted to taking the individual, but said that the security handcuffed him and that he transported the victim to the Nye County Sheriff's Office and then declined to answer any further questions. Nathan Myers was then arrested and transported to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. Big Money makes its first move towards tighter gun laws. Angela Miles reports. Topping our news ahead of an anti-gun protest led by students this weekend, Citigroup just became the first big bank on Wall Street to throw down restrictions on firearms. Citigroup is prohibiting retail customers from offering bump stocks, selling guns to people younger than 21, or selling to people who have not passed a background check. The CEO, Mike Corbett, says the policy respects the rights of responsible gun owners while keeping firearms out of wrong hands. Corbett considers himself a responsible gun owner. Investors are losing an appetite for Darden, the parent company of Olive Garden and Longhorn Steakhouse. The stock dropped Thursday. The restaurant company reported earnings at topped estimates but missed on revenue. Investors may have been concerned that Olive Garden will no longer offer its popular buy one, take one deal this quarter. It's dishing out fewer promotions. Turning to earnings, Micron topped Wall Street estimates. The stock has been running up for the past few weeks, but sold off on the news. Two marijuana businesses are up for renewal. That and an accident right after this break.